like this. Okay. And swipe to the side there. And then tap your thumb and your middle finger together. Spread fingers. And make a fist. Perfect. Perfect. I'm trying out Mayo today. This band that you put around your arm and it reads your gestures and it actually lets you control the devices around you. With Mayo, I've been able to turn the volume of a television set up and down. There you go, volume's going up. Awesome. To rewind and fast forward a video. I've been using Mayo out with a toy card, actually moving your arm to move this little car left, right, and make it spin. And with video games. Here we go. And this I could see being really popular and taking off with gamers. Oh, Whoa. that was close. How does this work? There's two types of sensors. The first one tracks the motion and position of your arm, and that's similar to the sensors that you'd find in basically any smartphone today. And then the second and more important type of sensor for us is the muscle sensor. So that's these eight pods. Each of those is reading the electrical activity that occurs when you do something like make a fist or spread your fingers. And that's from your brain actually sending that electrical signal down to your arm and the Mayo picks those up. Long term, what are your hopes and dreams for Mayo? What might it be able to do in the future with time? Interacting with things like the internet of things or wearables or other things like virtual reality, augmented reality, and all these new kinds of non-traditional devices where input solutions like mouse and keyboard or even voice and touch don't necessarily work that well. I can see how this technology will take off one day, but I don't think we're quite there yet. It didn't detect every movement and there were some glitches along the way. Only with time and people using it will we be able to know if the motion is this or this.